the story is how awesome these kids are. I wish we'd have played better. I wish I had coached better. But you go all the way back to when this thing started getting loose. And you said you're going to play these games. It's supposed to be able to win five games. I bet everybody would have said no way. So these kids deserve all the credit. As we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. In terms of the way the game started, um, do, do, you, do you have to, I mean, when the, when the team scores, especially on the road, when the team scores like that, so easily, do you have to sort of change the approach or do you go No, do yeah, I mean they scored. They could have scored in two plays or 20, I mean 7 nothing. you got to go play. We, you know, we defer. The weather was what it was. We've been taking the ball. So obviously maybe that was a bad decision. I made it. We had the ball to start the second half. We had a double move on. But we didn't, we just didn't get the, we didn't get the call. I mean, I, I guess they're allowed to, to, to do that now. But uh, we basically we didn't see it in three weeks. Now. So anyway, we were getting the ball started second half. We had chances. They scored. We could have scored. We just didn't do them. We didn't panic to answer your question. They, obviously, we didn't want that to happen. The first pass, again, the Savages out there playing basically on one leg. He didn't practice hardly all week. He wanted to play. He's trying to play. He thought he could play. You mm -hmm. saw him hardly be able to make the tackle. Um, so, you know, we chalk it up to that. I, I'd, be, I'd be happy. I'm still happy that all our kids how they wanted to play. Wish you could go back. No, you know, I'd like to go back to a lot of things in my life. You don't get to do that. Uh, last week, you talked about the difference six inches can make in a game um, early on, especially in the first half. You had the Jason Jones incompletion along the sideline with the interception um, by Antoine Richardson. You know, get overturned. Is it disappointing that you know two two games in a row from that ball three plays didn't go your way? It is. It is disappointing. So it was inconclusive. Was it? Was it different? Yeah, well, this, it's disappointing. Yeah. Again, it was, you know, it wasn't that. They're, they're, every game is a certain place, right? The moment, football's a momentum game. You go out there for a play second half and you get a double move for a touchdown, the game changes. Um, so um, that's how it is. But yeah, we had a couple, I mean, a couple, we moved, he caught us out of bounds. He got to add one, he caught it, came down, he hit the ground, it popped out, the interception. So that's football, that's what we do. It's, it's part of it. We didn't make enough plays to win. We had some opportunities to make some plays today. Um, I take full responsibility for all of it, but obviously we got to, you know, maybe I don't know what we did wrong, but we had some chances to make some plays, and we just didn't make it. Good. Matt, I know we've talked, touched on this uh, several times recently. How much do you feel you've grown as a coach going through what you did in 
how much would you like the opportunity to continue in a, in a permanent role? Um, to the second part first, I mean, that's nothing that we're going to be able to write about our players. Right? They're going to move on. And, you know, they got a search firm. They're doing their job. They're going to move on. We're taking it day to day. That's what we're going to do. We'll get up tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And all of us are going to That's not the story. Um, as a staff, I'll answer your question. As a staff, how we've grown. We've grown a lot. We've learned how to, you know, which we all know, right? We get into coaching for the kids. But then things change sometimes. It's hard. And sometimes, you, you know, things happen and this goes on. Well, there's no doubt how much we learn from our kids this year. There's no doubt how important it is to make sure you're all together. There's no doubt that sometimes somebody's here and somebody's there, but football's still the greatest game in the world. Because it doesn't matter where you're from, how much money you got or whatever, if everybody believes you got a chance. And we didn't win enough, but they believe. We didn't show up today, it sure as hell showed up last week. They believe. So that's what I learned. I learned that it's still the greatest game on earth. And I wish we didn't want to go. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was just like you know, Savage really. We, 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 last week of the year, we were very smart in practice. We had a couple guys just we weren't we weren't even, we weren't obviously hitting. We didn't pads. We were we were being smart. And just it's a long season. You know, Savage had been hurt, so we from this from the Ohio State game. Ty tried to go all week. It wasn't any you know, today. He said he couldn't go. Uh, you know, Christy was out today. You know, we knew that all week. That wasn't you know, we knew he wasn't going to play. So uh, it's just it's a, it's a 12 game season. It's a 16, 17 week with camp. It's two really, really close games last week. There's just a lot, yeah. and I'm proud of how hard they played because a lot of guys with two emotional losses wouldn't come back. Did Anthony just reaggravate? You know, I don't even know. I, I can't answer that. I they I know he went out and they told me he was out. At that point, we were down. You know, we were really we had leaking. That's about all we had. Like we were kind of in a bind. And we, uh, we got we got ourselves in the pinch there with, with, with where we were in personnel. We had we had chances. We just didn't play well. My coach Ron. What do you do with this game film? Do you still go back tomorrow and start dissecting it, or do you put this away for a little while? I'll probably put this away for a little while. It's not going to matter right now. Now we will grade it for our kids like we always do. And, um, and I you. Again, there were plays there. Uh, there were plays there to make, and better calls to make. And like any other game, you lose. And again, that, that's the hard part for us as coaches when, when you have a game with a couple plays here or there, change the entire game. You don't get to make them. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't know why we missed some of the plays we missed today, but we did. So it falls on it all falls on me. Uh, but I don't know why we did. We, we had some, we had some chances today. Some games. I don't know that I felt that way with different things, but I thought we had some chances today. But it didn't make it. Take two more. Now, what are they doing to stop the run game and particularly Jets teams? Well, they, they, they decided to stop the Jet, you know, like other teams have, and we, we missed, we, we had some communication, we had some communication issues today at times that, that we haven't had. The ball probably should have been going the other way. But, um, we just, we just didn't, and, you know, that, that's falls on me again. We got to, Quarterback unit, you know, we played a couple of games and a lot of different things. They were they were up the field on the jet, and we had some again. We had some chances. We blocked them at times up okay up front, and then we didn't. You know, we just didn't get those big runs that we've seen at other times. They had everybody down, break one more tackle, and they probably tackled a little better than we hoped they would. And then our passing game, we had some shots, and we just didn't hit them. Right, or like so we ever mentioned, we were just out of bounds, and at the end of the half, we had the ball down in the dot. All of a sudden, you're in field goal range right now. Obviously, Joseph missed the last one. Maybe it, and what he missed last week, we got ourselves so far out there. I think we're going to count that one. on us. But today's with the first one. And you, know, you get down there, that's points at the end of the half, which I was going in saying, if you get three and then come out and get seven, you know, ten points there. And to your point, Donna, let they start. If you go bang, bang, all of a sudden you're back in the game. And so that was a big, a big play. Not that he has made just tremendous catches. But that's just how it goes. Pat, when you took over as the interim coach, you didn't know at least half the team real well. Um, what, what did you get to know about these guys that maybe surprised you? I don't think it surprised me. I just, I mean, I think, I think the, the, the coolest part about it is how much everybody's decided we weren't, you know, we weren't going to stick together. We were going to play hard. We were going to block out everybody else, forget everybody but us, and care about us. 
and that's what we did. And the defensive kids did it. And uh, you know, I, it was fun to get to know them. And, you know, just, it was a tough locker room right now, going around seeing it. So, you know, I, I feel really frustrated that we didn't win. Really frustrated. But special group of kids, special, you know, everybody in the building. You know, everybody probably thinking, you know, nobody's been in our building. But another thing, you guys have been writing about it. There's been some tough days since you know, throughout the time this has all gone on. And the fact that everybody's hung in there together and, and coming in and you talk to somebody, and I'm down today but somebody's got me, and you're down tomorrow and I got you, it's awesome. And that's that's what that should be the story. Everything else will work itself out, everybody else will figure everything else out. The story is how awesome these kids are. I wish we'd have played better, I wish I had coached better. But you go all the way back to when this thing started getting loose. And you said you're going to play these games as close as we didn't win five games. I bet everybody would have said no way. So these kids deserve all the credit.